The purpose of this course is also to understand what is happening under the hood. Let's take a quick look at how WooCommerce is usually customized. The, the most simple level is, sim is to override default CSS styles and with that we can change colors or, or some positioning, uh, margins, spacings and so on. It's quite limited. Then the second approach is using hooks and WooCommerce defines a bunch of actions and then functions that are hooked to these actions and our plugins or our teams can modify um, this, they can add new actions uh, they can add new hooks to these actions or they can remove some of the existing hooks. So in this way we can manipulate and change the layout, the content uh, on our storefront. And then the, the third level is by overriding WooCommerce templates. Almost all information comes that is displayed by WooCommerce comes from one of these templates. For example, let's take a look, single product and sale flash displays the sticker, like the sale sticker when, when the product is on sale, or the rating displays the, the star rating of the product. And, and Pine lets us easily override these templates with our own layouts and styling. Uh, and that's it. The hooks are still working, so and, and the, the styles can still be customized. So all of these three approaches can be used together. And Pine Grow Shop Builder for WooCommerce is designed in such a way that it doesn't interfere with, with these recommended ways of customizing WooCommerce. And as we progress with our project, we will always kind of take a peek into the code that was generated so that we understand not just how to use Pine Grow, but also what happens in the background.